Hello. Hola. Hola. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Norma. Glenda. Hi. Mary. We have Xiomara, Elmer, Lisi, Ale. Very good. Hi. Hi. Hi, Hello. Mauricio. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, Xiomara. Hello. How was your day today, guys? It was good. It was a good day. Excited. All right. Very nice. Hi, how are you? Fine. How are you? Good evening. Nice to see you. Me too, teacher. Very good. All right. So, guys, um, yesterday we were studying evaluations with nouns and evaluations with adjectives okay was it confusing for you or it was okay hola how was the topic yesterday was it confusing or it was easy it was um, uh, was confusing confusing confusing, was confusing? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Because uh, I I feel confused for nouns. You feel yes. confused with nouns. Yes. All right. So let me let me just open something up here. Okay. Oops. All right. Um. I'm gonna share this with you, which is nothing. Can you see my page? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. So uh, let's talk about, we're going to, okay, remember we're talking about evaluations with nouns and adjectives. This is what we're studying right now, okay? So we're using two words. One is to and the other one is enough, okay? So those are the two words that we're using right now. When I say noun, let's talk about nouns here, okay? What are nouns? Whoops. What are nouns? Guys? What are nouns? Noise. Family. Be, uh, Family. Pets. pets uh -huh. What else? Cars. Things. Cars. Yeah. Apartment. Things. Apartments. Yes. Whoops. Uh, apartments. Uh -huh. What else? House, house or houses. Rooms. All right, rooms. Very good. What else? Yes. Okay, very good. Let's think about uh, the house. What do we have in our houses? Do you guys have sofas? Yes. Furniture. Yes. Furniture. All right, sofa, sofa, or we can say furniture. All right. Do you have um, kitchen? Kitchens, yes. All right, you have a kitchen. Do you have television? Yes. yes. All right, do you have Fair. windows? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Doors. Do you have doors? All right, okay. Very good. Table. Table. Bathrooms. Bathrooms. Very good. Toilet. Okay. Yeah. Are Beaches. nouns. Excuse me? Dishes. Dishes. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay, Dishes. plates. Yeah. So these guys are nouns, okay? So when we talk about nouns, all right, remember that we're using to or and we're using enough. When we talk about to, we're going to use, we can say, I have too many, too many what? Uh, many windows. windows. Yes. Too many windows, oops, windows in my house, all right? So too many, I'm using too because it means a lot or more than enough. Many because windows is countable, okay? In my house, so I use too many windows before, I use too before the noun. The noun, it, which one is the noun, guys? What is the noun? Windows. That's right. Windows. windows is the noun, all right? 
so I'm just gonna make this bigger here. Uh, windows. Okay. So I say I have too many windows in my house. Two is the evaluation that I'm using right now, the evaluation word. And then I have to talk about nouns. So I say I have too many windows in my house. But if I say I have windows enough or enough windows in my house. Windows enough. Are you sure? No. Uh, enough windows in my house. I have enough windows, windows enough windows in my oops in my house. All right. I have enough windows in my house. I have to use enough before the noun. Okay. All right. So I have to use either two or enough before the noun. Okay, you understand that? Yeah. Okay. So I say I have enough windows, or I can say I have enough, I don't know, closets in my house. Enough, not too many or not just a few. I have enough, okay? So remember that enough, you have to write it before nouns, okay? And also two. Now, two will depend if you use too many or too much. Depends on your noun, if it is countable or uncountable. You understand that? Okay, so we always have to use many or much when we use two. Yeah, in this case, because you're using, uh, you're nouns. using nouns, uh -huh. if it's countable okay. or uncountable. The many okay. or the much will depend if it is countable or uncountable. But in case okay. that you use enough, you don't have to use anything else, but enough goes before the noun. Okay. All right, now, if I use, I'm going to use two again, all right, and enough, hold on. I'm going to use two and enough, but this case, I'm going to use it with adjectives, okay? uh do you remember some of the adjectives we talked about yesterday to describe the house or the apartment yes, small, convenient a small bright, bright all right convenient convenient convenient, convenient, convenient issues uh -huh. what else safe safe uh-huh Dingy, what quiet. else? Quiet. All right, quiet. Uh huh, what else? Dangerous. All right, Dan -der. dangerous. All right, so these guys, they are adjectives, okay? But we're also using the adjectives with the evaluation words of two and enough. All right, so I say, my house is no two is what let's use it with two enough ah okay my ah. house is that's okay it's spacious enough enough goes at the end or it goes after my adjective no. this is an adjective nor okay all right so i say it's spacious is my adjective and enough oops enough is the evaluation word okay so i have okay. to remember that every time i'm going to evaluate and i'm going to have nouns or adjectives i have to remember the rule where does enough go uh, before the adjective or after the adjective if you talk about adjectives enough is going to go after Let's After do another one. Yeah, let's go another one. Let's do Before another one now. with two. Okay. Yomana, help me uh, out. Or anybody. Uh -huh. no. I, have, I, have a, I have a question. Uh -huh. uh, noisy is an adjective, yeah. but noise is a noun. There is enough. There's too much noise. Uh -huh. Yeah, noise is a noun. Uh -huh. And noise oh, okay, is an okay. adjective, yeah. Okay, okay. 
All right, so let's talk about, give me another one. Now we're going to use two instead of enough. Mm. My house has uh, too much noise. Mm. You can say there is too much noise in my house because my house has too much noise, it's kind of weird. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's try another one. Like, a, like example, just the yesterday teacher. Tell me the in example. Country, in, in my country, there is too much pollution. But pollution is not an adjective. Ah. Too much pollution. Pollution is not an adjective, it's a noun. It's a noun. Uh -huh. ah, I see. Some of the adjectives. Okay, okay. Yeah, where we use apartment. Mm -hmm. An example, teacher. Yeah, apartment. Um, aren't big enough? No, but I want it. I want. It, yeah, it's okay. But I want you to use two. Not enough anymore. Teacher, my my garage cost too much money. Money is not an adjective. Ah. Yeah, it describes my my, my 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 house is is too small. Okay, my house is too small. All right. So in this, hold on, I'm just gonna make this. When we colors. use adjectives, too, it's not necessary use many or much, no. No, because you're using adjectives. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Wait, what? And two. It's always like a negative. Yeah, it's an it's in a negative context because you're saying okay. like you wish it would be bigger, all right? When you say my house is too small, okay. is that I, I I want more space, but I don't have more space in my house. So yeah, okay. two means negative. Okay. My house is too small. Okay, so not is here. No, oh, what am I? You know what? This is upside down. This should be screen. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my goodness. Okay, my house is too small. Two is the evaluation word and a small is the adjective. So two is always going to come before the adjective and enough is going to go after the adjective. Okay, you guys understand okay. that? Yes, yes. Yeah? yeah? All right, Lisi, can you give me one example using enough and adjectives? Yes. Uh, my uh -huh. garage isn't big enough. My garage isn't big enough. Very good sentence, nice, okay. Uh, Walter, give me another one with two and adjectives. Okay, uh, travel, travel by, by bus is too dangerous. To travel by bus is too dangerous. All right, very good. Uh, let me see, Carlos, Carlitos, can you give me a sentence, please? Carlos, no? All right, Roxana, can you give me a sentence? Okay, uh, my house doesn't have enough spacious bathrooms. Doesn't have Not enough? Or it's spacious not a spacious bathroom. enough. Spacious it's not enough. A spacious enough, all right? Ah, uh, have enough. Okay. I the special death rooms. O sea, ah. special death room. Uh, special death room is, 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 is joint. But tell me the whole That's sentence right. then, Roxanne. My house doesn't have enough special special death rooms. Cuartos espaciosos. No tiene suficiente cuartos. All right. Okay. My house doesn't have enough sure. special, special bedrooms. Room. Okay. But that's, but that's uh, announced, no? Uh, she's mixing it right now. 
Uh, Which is, I mean, because the adjective is modifying the noun. All right, but she's also using evaluation here. So she's like, could be another could be uh, my house isn't bright enough. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. <laughs> because that, it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> because it's dark, yeah, I know. All right, okay. So do you understand it a little bit better now, guys? Or do you still have questions about this? No. No questions? Okay, so I have questions for, for you then. <laughs> it's clear? It's clear. All right, okay. So I'm so, going to... I want to... Let me see here. Okay. All right. Can you guys take a picture of this right now? It says, add the word enough to these sentences. Take a picture of these sentences. They are very easy. And what you have to do is you have to write the word enough. Two, only enough. Can you take a picture? Yes. So what I want you to do is with your partner, I want you to decide whether you have to use enough before a noun or after a noun or before an adjective or after the adjective. You have to see if you have nouns or if you have adjectives on your sentences. Okay, ready? Ready? Ready. Ready. Yes, okay, okay. All right. So go to your groups and try to figure it out the use of enough. Is it before or after? All right, Alex, okay, Amy and Alejandra. Ale Arias, hola, hola. Amy?
Mm -hmm. Uncountable. My dear teacher, hello. How are you? Fine, how are you? Fine, teacher. ¿Por qué tanta seriedad? No, para nada. ¿Qué le pasa? Mire, teacher. Hola. Estamos, estamos aquí viendo que para, para efectos de cosas, cuando estamos usando el chu, siempre va a ir acompañado del too many o too much. Si es noun, sí. Le, sí, sí es nombre. En el uh -huh. caso, uh -huh. esto que estoy aquí eh, sombreada, estos. Sí, Entonces, sí, sí. Siempre va a ser too many and too much. Así es. Uh -huh. Como los ejemplos que usted eh, nos enseñé. Ajá, claro que le pasa, of course. Exacto. En ese caso dice too much porque money es no contable, ¿cierto? Sí, mm -hmm. entonces, va, pero vayamos más allá. Entonces el to siempre, en, tanto en nombres como en, como en <risa> adjetivos, <risa> va a ir antes. Lo único, que en, en, lo único que en nombres va a ir acompañada de la Del palabra. many o del much. Correcto, ¿verdad que sí? Así. Sí, señorito, very Ajá. good. And now is enough. Is a adjective enough? Enough. 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 No. Enough. 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 Is uh -huh. uh, uh, before the 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 yeah, before the noun and yeah. at the end in the in the adjectives question with adjective. That's right. Yeah. Ya ve que aprendió. En el yes. caso de la oración 4, preguntarle el Merlado. Pregúnteme a usted, Eli. Es que, mire, teacher, estamos, estamos viendo que war in the winter es caliente en el invierno, ¿no? ¿Sí? Está calificando el dormitorio. Es un Entonces, adjetivo. My bedroom is warm in the winter enough. No. Enough. No. 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 Va después del adjetivo. No, War después de toda la oración, exacto. Ah, ah. Renau in the winter. Right. Usted vio, usted vio Juego de Tronos, va, teacher. No, fíjese. Ah, pues véala, the winter is, is coming. Oh, my goodness, ok. okay. <risa> All right, ¿esa le estaba dando problema? Sí, esta vez yeah. no le estaba dando problema. Ahí teníamos porque, duda. Porque oh, sí okay. es una calificación War in the winter, pero... La poníamos hasta el final. Ajá, si sí, no. Califica exacto, o sea, evalúa al, al lo caliente, no al invierno. Ajá. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Listo. Right. Ve, ve que nos enseña tan bien, Tiche, que aprendemos rápido. Uh -huh. Va a estar en el otro, Tiche. No sé, el mesito. Tal vez me tome vacación. ¿En serio? No, hombre. Nos vamos... Nos vamos de vacaciones. No, yo le digo. Yo, yo, yo estoy no. de acuerdo con usted. Nos vamos de vacaciones. Yo necesito descanso también. Ay, sí. No, mm. pero yo creo que vamos a seguir. Porque creo que el que viene va a ser el último antes de Navidad. ¿En serio? O sea, no estoy segura. No estoy segura. Pero lo que pasa es que se lo vamos a terminar el 3 de octubre, ¿cierto? Sí. Este, sí. Este. Hola. Hello. Hello. All right. Hello. So let's check it together, guys. What were the sentences that we were working on? Let's see yes. what we have. For number one, well, number zero, <laughs> the car is <coughs> fast enough. Okay. Fast what enough. Okay. Fast, guys, okay. is it a noun or an adjective? Fast. What is okay. fast? Adjective. 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 An adjective. adjective. Very good. Number one. Yeah. There, there aren't chairs. And I need to add enough. Uh, let's see. Mary, Mary, Mary Viera, can you tell me the sentence for number one? There aren't enough chairs. There aren't enough there aren't chairs. Enough Very good. Chairs. So chairs right. is what? An adjective? Noun. It's a noun. noun. It's a noun. It's a noun. 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 Very good. Excellent, guys. You guys are super good. All right, let's see. Next one. Glenda Morales, number two. The restaurant is good. You sing enough, Glendita. Glenda. Glenda, me escucha. Can you listen to me, Glenda? Glenda is out. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, let's see. Mauricio, why don't you do it? Number two. I mean, yeah, number two. Okay. The restaurant is good enough. Excellent. What is good, Mauricio? It's an adjective. That's right. Very nice. Nice. All right. Uh, let's see. Eli Larim, number three. Okay. There isn't there isn't enough public transportation. Excellent. There isn't enough public transportation. What is public? A noun or an adjective, Ellie? It's a noun. It's a noun. Very good. Okay. All right. And let's see. Adriana, can you do number four? Yes. Uh, I'm not sure, but my bedroom is warm enough in winter. Excellent. Yeah. My bedroom yeah. is warm enough in winter. Yeah. Cuando tenemos oraciones como esa, lo que tenemos que es lo que estamos evaluando es el adjetivo. ¿verdad? Entonces no podemos poner my bedroom is warm in winter enough. Mm. Porque decimos, ah, como va al final, no, pero va al final o va después yeah. del adjetivo. After, adjective. right, after the, right after the adjective, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. okay. ok. Ok, now we're going to do the same sentences, incluyendo la cero. Mm. All right, zero, one, two, three, four. And instead of writing enough, use two. Okay, you understand? Yes. Not enough. Now you're using two. So let's go back to your. Is this? They are the same sentences. You don't have to take a picture again. So you have to go back to your groups and now rewrite them using two. Uh, be careful if you talk about adjectives and be careful if you talk about nouns. Okay. 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 All right. Go to your rooms again, guys. Please click on it right now so everybody can work with someone else. There you go. Glenda? Too fast. Hi, Alex. Hi, Hi, how are you, teacher? Fine, how are you? I'm fine too. A little bit tired, but yeah. it's okay. Yeah, me too. I'm a little bit tired too. <laughs> yes, I saw your 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 eyes blinded. Yeah, like I really feel tired, but I'm I'm okay. I'm here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, how are you doing? What about number zero? Lizzie, do you have that sentence? Yeah, the car isn't too fast. The car isn't too fast. All right, Alex, what about number one? Uh, there aren't uh, two chairs. Mm -hmm. mm, Interesting. No. <laughs> hmm. Okay, there let's draw it. Uh huh. Yeah. When you, Alex and Lizzie, when you use two for nouns, you need to include many. Yeah. Ah, okay. Too many chairs. Excellent. Many because it's countable, right? Yes. All right. Very good. You guys are doing super good. I'm going to go check another group, okay? If you have okay. questions, let me know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Too much public transportation. 
Public transportation. Public. Public transportation. And okay. my bedroom is too, too warm in winter. Mm -hmm. Very good. Too warm in winter, right? That's Teacher, right. E yes. And the number three. Uh huh. Uh, we have a question. Yes. Uh, the, the restaurant is too good. The restaurant is too good. Yeah. Only okay. that. Uh, only that. When you have okay. an adjective, you don't have to include anything else but the word. Okay. All right. Oh. The restaurant is too good. Uh huh. And mm -hmm. in the number three, the reason uh, too much. Excellent. Yeah. Too much, too much, or can too you, can, can you count transportation? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you say mm -hmm. one, yeah. two transportation, three transportations? No. All right, so it's too much. Too much. Though. Yeah, you don't say too many public transportation, too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the chairs, too many. There That's aren't right. too many too chairs. Too many chairs, there aren't. There aren't too many chairs. That's mm -hmm. right. Yes, because chairs is countable. 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 Too many chairs. Okay. okay. You guys are doing good. All right. So you finished. What about number yeah. zero? What was number zero? The car isn't too fast. The isn't car isn't too fast. Very good. Very nice. All right. Yeah. Uh, Roxana, ya está, ya está, ya la lograron inscribir y todo, Roxana, ya está bien, con todos los papeles. No, no, fíjese, ya volví a recordar, ahorita es que como yo soy independiente, ¿verdad? Ah. Ni modo, ahorita que quizás pague <ríe> un link, porque este, 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 este módulo me dijeron que el Insafort me lo iba a dar, este, me lo iba a financiar totalmente, pero que el segundo módulo ah. lo tenía yo que pagar. Ojalá que me lo tomen en cuenta. Ahí me toman las fotos y todo, teacher, por cualquier cosa. Vaya, sí, está bueno. Querían que ah, estuve okay. porque sí, el Insafor dijo que me lo iba a financiar totalmente solo este. Sí, el lo que pasa es que ahorita, ahorita estaban unas becas así, que no, no ah. necesitan, ajá, que usted fue beneficiada en ese caso por esa razón. En esa, ajá, ajá. Ah, pero vale. sí, es cierto, solo es un mes de gracia. Sí, <risa> por si me gusta, right. no me gusta. Sí. Pero le ha gustado, sí. ¿verdad? Sí, sí, gracias. Sí, en realidad right. que yo lo que estoy haciendo es repasando gramática. Porque sí. en realidad que a mí me, yo le puedo leer inglés, le puedo sí. entender inglés, pero no lo hago, cuando lo quiero, tengo que hablar, se me olvida todo. Todo, ok. Entonces, eso, eso es lo que yo quiero repasar, la gramática y todo, a ver cómo. cómo. Ok, all right, very good. Gracias, gracias. Andy. Ok, very nice. Thank you. Thank you teacher. You're Thank welcome, you, teacher. girls. Ok. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi. All right. So hi. let's check it together again, guys. Let's see what we have. And then we're going to continue with the other topic. So, um, eh, Norma Campos, can you read number zero? The car isn't too fast. The car isn't too fast. Okay, very good. Uh, we like to drive fast and furious here. All right. Uh, Carlos Alberto, can you do number one? Carlitos, no le escucho, Carlos. Grite. No, Carlos. Creo que es su micrófono. A ver. Ah, ajá. Anybody else? Okay, me, teacher, Walter Guerrero. Yes, Walter. There aren't too many chairs. There aren't too many chairs. Very good. Remember, guys and girls, that when we use two with nouns, you either use many because it's countable nouns. Countable nouns, right. If it's uncountable nouns, all right? Very mm -hmm. good. Number yes. three, Lisi, can you do number two for us? Yeah, number two. Yes. The restaurant is too much good. Mm -hmm. The restaurant is mm -hmm. too good. Mm -hmm. 
Good. good. Yeah. Remember, Lizzie, that good is an adjective. And we only write too many or too much for nouns. No. Not for adjectives, all right? That's okay. Too, so too their, their restaurant is too good. It's too, too good. good. That's right. Very good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Norma Rivera, can you do number three? Yeah, there isn't public transportation too. Mm. What happened, Normita? Public transportation, is it an adjective or is it a noun, Norma? No, it's a noun. It's uh -huh. a noun. So? Okay. Noun. Then uh, there isn't too many. Uh -huh. too, too many too or too much? much? Too much. Too much. Yeah, because much. you cannot really count one transportation, two transportations, three transportations, right? The DM and DMG have a, a statistic for that teacher. Uh huh, claro. Pero, for me. Uh huh, but we're not, I, we are not the VMT, my friend, okay? <laughs> Ay, el besito, solo para Elmer, number four. Jenny. Elmer, number four. My bedroom, my bedroom is too warm mm. in the winter. My bedroom too is warm. too warm in winter, too all right? Warm. Very good, guys, nice. Good job, you guys are so good students. All right, such good students. Okay, so now we're going to continue. We talk, Yesterday and today we've been talking about evaluations with nouns and adjectives. Now we're going to talk about uh, comparisons with adjectives and comparisons with nouns, okay? So let's see, Ellie, Larin, can you read comparisons with adjective, adjectives, please? Okay. Uh, houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Uh -huh. houses, aren't, houses aren't used convenient as apartments. It, it's not as cheap, cheap as the last apartment. Mm -hmm. It's almost as cheap as the last apartment. Mm -hmm. Com uh, continue with the other one. Thank you, Eli. Um, Alex Aguilera, can you continue comparison with nouns? With nouns. That's right. Okay. Houses have just as many rooms as apartments. Very good. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. All right. It doesn't have as many bedrooms as the last apartment. Okay. It has just as many bedrooms as the last apartment. Okay, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Okay, so if you notice again with comparisons with nouns, it's, it means that we're comparing two things, okay? We, we are either comparing houses or apartments, okay? But every time we talk about nouns, even when we're comparing, we need many or we need much, depending on the noun. Take a look at the first example. It says houses have just as many rooms as apartments, okay? So many because rooms are countable, all right? And then we have our number two it says apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. We're using much because privacy is uncountable. You cannot say one privacy, two privacies, three privacies. All right. So every time we talk about nouns, we're going to use either many or much. All right. Y por eso no sirve que haya clase de lo contable y no contable. ¿Se acuerdan? Mm -hmm. Díganme que sí, no me digan. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Of course. Of course. Mire, él me bien calladito cuando debería de ser, of course, my dear teacher. Of course, my dear teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I, go, I go right to my law. I, ah. I <laughs> am writing for my love. You are writing to your love. Damn. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's then, private. Yeah, that's private. Eh? That's private information. Thank you yes. for sharing that. 
All right, and then when we talk about comparisons with adjectives, we don't need to use many or much because we don't use many or much with adjectives, all right? So I can say, mm -hmm. Elme is as funny as, I don't know, as Alex, for example, <laughs> all right? So I'm comparing these two guys. When I use as, as, it means that they are the same. As. No, no, nor Elmer, neither Alex is funnier mm -hmm. than the other one. Same, yeah. okay? So I can also say Norma Campos is as intelligent as Eli Larin. Okay, so in this case, I'm not saying that Eli is more intelligent. I'm not saying that Norma is more intelligent. I'm saying they are the same. Similar. Right? Yeah, they are similar in the same level. All right, mm -hmm. so in this case, I can say, ah, okay. So, um, houses are just as, I don't know, beautiful as apartments, for example, okay? Now, if you say not, for example, if you say like a negative, then that means that something is better than the other one, okay? Mm -hmm. You guys understand? Yes. All right. So would I, when you when two nouns, teacher. Yes. Oh, when to no, when we compare two nouns, mm -hmm. in positive is in the case with the same, similar. Uh, when when we, we use when we use negative, is um, different. Yeah, it is different. The meaning different. changes. The meaning changes. Yeah, some like if you use a <laughs> negative one, if you use a negative sentence, you are saying the one is. It has more things than the other one. Mm -hmm. All right, for example, take a look at number two. It says apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. So which one is more private, apartments or houses? Uh, uh, houses. Houses are more private, okay? Oh, but in this sentence, Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> in this sentence, <laughs> apartments are less private, like they are less, they have less privacy. All right. Don't. But okay. for example, yes. yes. Teacher, uh, can you translate to Spanish the sentence? No. <laughs> <laughs> which, which sentence, Yomara? Uh, the first sentence, the uh, comparison House. with adject adjective. Comparison with adjective. Las casas no son, aren't. no son tan convenientes, tan accesibles como apartamentos, como los apartamentos. Ah, ah, as, eso es lo que quiero saber. As es tan. Sí. Uh, tan en todo. Como. Tan y como. Tan y como. El primer as no es tan y el otro como. as es eh, tan como. Ajá. Y en, en el siguiente caso que es you, siempre es lo mismo. Es que, es que el, lenguaje, el lenguaje meramente gringo, ¿verdad, teacher? O, o de inglés, pues no, no es tan traducible. Pero mire, aquí en la no, número... Pero... Niños, solo escúcheme un segundito. En esta número dos hay un error. Houses aren't just as convenient as apartments. Se comieron mm -hmm. el, 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 el primer us. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Siempre lo tiene que Eso llevar. Eso está ah, para que ustedes se fijen que hay un error y que digan, ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. Pero nadie yeah. me lo dijo. ¿Qué pasó? <laughs> You're not paying attention. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Okay. All right. Esto no lo vean. Mm -hmm. All right. Practice makes perfect. Spacious. Yeah, you Spacious saw that? Morning. Practice wow. makes perfect. Ay, qué rápido leyó eso, compañero. Very good. <laughs> practice makes perfect. Por eso we have to practice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, trabajar nada más con este ejemplo ahorita y mañana seguimos trabajando con el otro. Tiene spacious, modern car, four doors, expensive, It's fast modern. and comfortable. It's an Audi, right? Es el carro que maneja Don Elmer. Wow. Right, Elmer. No tengo, no tengo carro. Ah, en sus sueños, Elmer. Ah, bueno. 
All right. Audi. It's an Audi. All right. So I want you to take a picture of this and you're going to go to your groups and you're going to make as many sentences as possible. Ahorita solo van a usar two or enough. Pero usted vaya viendo si es una, un nombre, si es un adjetivo, si voy a ponerle too many, si voy a poner too much, si voy a poner el, el enough before or after. All right? So make as many sentences as you can, okay? In comparison. Um, because right now we're not comparing. Right now we're just okay. talking about the Audi. Tomorrow we will compare, okay? Okay. Finished? Okay. Finish taking the picture? Yes. yes. Thank you. We're going to go to your groups and start working. Make sentences, okay? Ale, Ale Arias. Ah, con, con, la, con lo que estábamos haciendo. Yo eh, ya lo le daba por terminado y finalizado. Sí, ¿No? estaba fácil hacer eso. Vea. Entonces, vamos, si es eso es así. Elmer, why eh, are you speaking so much y Spanish? Audi. Yeah, Michelle, no íbamos a comparar. No. Ah. No, está, no le di otra fotito para que compararan. Como ya está inventando la otra marca. Elmer, es que como... No, yo te sé. Elmer, you're not paying attention porque como estaba texteando. So my love teacher. Mm. Yeah. She is right. Deje de escribirle a su amor y concéntrese en la clase. Y pues que me enamora, pues. No tengo culpa yo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Is too espacio. Ah, no, no vamos a comparar, vea. Too espacio. No. Eh, y la otra sería de Audi. Is espacio. No, sería is too. Pues, eh, no. Voy ahí, sigue texteando el qué barbaridad. <risa> Bien, oye, Beatriz. Hasta aquí. Usted. Oiga, ¿cómo, Normita, ¿cómo oiga, Elena. Yeah. En no. lugar de estar concentrado en la clase, y está texting, texting. No, tal vez así le da celos o algo así, teacher, me hace caso. Y ahora dice. <risa> you are single, Elena. Ya me voy, me voy. Bye, Elena. Bye, teacher. <risa> Uh, ah, pues es que cuando quite el audífono, entonces escucha el sonido normal de la computadora. Ahora sí, solo con altavoz quizás. 
con altavoz, así quédese, así quédese, sí. porque es su, es su audífono el que se ha arruinado. Sí, gracias. Ay, Glendita, ya puede Hola. hablar. Hola, ahora sí, he estado que la otra no pude con... Con el audífono. Con los audífonos. Ah, Creo okay. que se la... Lisa, sí, ve. Ah. <risa> y se oye bien, ya. Gracias. Bueno, entonces, eh, eh, try to make a sentence with me. Especious. The car, the Audi is spacious enough? Spacious okay. enough? Two? Hi, Norma. Hi, teacher. Are you alone, Normita? Yes, because the other people not enter. But I don't know what happened to them. But I try to, to work, to All write right. the, the, the sentence. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Norma, very good. Okay. Y el luego, el Audi is... Anita and Be Mary don't speak Spanish. Okay. <laughs> es que no. nos trabamos. ¿Qué les pasó? Se trabaron. No, al hablar así cuando estamos queriendo. Ah. BLD <laughs> um, is. Um, is it special enough? The car is special BLD. enough. BLD uh -huh. is. It's a modern. It's a modern. It's modern enough. Modern enough. Modern it's car enough. I do prefer kind it's of no. No. Modern enough because it, car is not a play type. Mm -hmm. Modern enough. Uh, yeah, it is modern enough. Okay. My car has too many doors. It, the Audi is too expensive and it's too fast or fast enough. Very good. Mm -hmm. It's comfortable enough. Okay. Okay. Finished? Finished. Yes. All right. Very good. We're going to go back to the main um, group so we can share the answers, all right? Okay. Okay. All right, who wants to share with me some of the sentences that you came up with? Me, teacher. All right, tell me, tell me one of your sentences. The car has too many doors. The car has too many doors. Okay, very good. Another sentence, someone else? The Audi is spacious enough. Ah, the Audi is spacious enough. Very good, yeah. another one. Anybody? The Audi, the Audi is too expensive. No? Yeah, the Audi is too expensive. Very good, another one. Guys, the Audi is the, the Audi is comfortable enough. It's comfortable enough. Yeah. All right, very good. Another one. The yeah. Audi is too fast. The Audi is too fast. Good. Anything else? Any other sentence? This car is too modern. Oh, very good. The car is too modern. All right, very nice. Nice sentence. All right, anything else? Teacher, uh, when you enough. use good good color uh, is an adjective. Good color enough or no? Uh, when you say about the color. Yeah, it's colorful enough? Color? Uh, colorful? Good. Colorful. Uh -huh. Colorful. Uh, okay. has, colorful uh, in, like, mm -hmm. You could say that. Mm -hmm. All right. Enough. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much for those sentences. They were very, very nice. 
I think you understood the topic better today, all right? Because we practice it more. Tomorrow we will do practice with comparisons with adjectives and nouns, just to double check that you guys are understanding. And tomorrow I will begin section four, because uh, for section three, the main topics were evaluations and comparisons with adjectives and nouns, which we proud, I mean, we pretty much covered them, all right? So tomorrow we'll do some practice with this topic and we will begin a new topic for section four, okay? Okay. okay. All right, guys, thank you so much for being in class. I will see you all tomorrow, all right? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thank you very much. Good night. 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 Good